And so I'd like to bless them with a loaf of homemade cinnamon raisin bread. I have all kinds of machines to make bread with. I have my KitchenAid professional mixer, and I have this bread machine that I bought at a yard sale for $5. This bread machine is a blessing. Not only can you make bread in here, but you can also make pasta, and you can also make jams and jellies in it. Usually, I just use a spoon, make artesian breads, but because I have a lot to do today, I'm gonna to do it in the machine, and I wanna show you how it's done. So in a bread machine, you can make either a one and a half pound or a two pound loaf. I'm gonna make a two pound today because they have children. And I have given bread away before and found out that the mom never even got a piece. So be generous when you make it. So to make a two pound loaf of cinnamon raisin bread, you're gonna need one and a half cups of water, two tablespoons of butter, four cups of bread flour, a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one and a quarter teaspoons of ground cinnamon, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, or one package of yeast. You can use whatever kind you want, as long as it's fresh. I'm using fast rising yeast today. And then we add in raisins, so stay tuned. In a bread machine, follow your directions because each bread machine has different instructions. Basically, they're the same, but just to be sure. So for a bread machine, you add your wet ingredients first. So I'm adding one and a half cups of regular cool water. Then I have to add four cups of bread flour. You can use whatever kind of flour you want. You can mix half wheat flour, half bread flour, all purpose flour, whatever you have on hand. And while I was talking, I hope I didn't lose count. But I'm sure I will hear if I did. Bread flour is more gluten, makes the bread texture a little softer. And after that, we're going to add our butter. This is homemade butter. You can click and see that there's a recipe for that. I'm going to add my sugar. Now, this recipe called for a quarter cup of sugar. I mixed half brown with half white, two tablespoons of salt, you can use any kind of salt you want, I'm using sea salt today, one and a quarter tablespoons, one and a quarter teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one package of fast rising yeast, I usually like to make a little well in the middle and then add the yeast right in there, away from the wet ingredients. And that is it. How easy is that? Now we just snap it into the bread machine. Close the top and we're going to turn it on. Now what we have to do with this bread machine is we have to make a selection. So we're going to push the select button. It's going to beep and we want to go to the sweet setting. So the sweet setting is number four and it is on four. And then we want to push our crust color and we want it to be I'm going to put medium and then it is start from the window 
you can watch all the work be done. The only thing that we'll have left to do is the machine will continue its kneading cycle and then it will stop. Once it stops, we will add the raisins. So right now the machine is resting and when you hear it rest, that is fine. The dough is rising. You can see the steam on the glass. Do not open the top once it is working the dough. So I'm still waiting for one beep and that beep will tell me when it's time to put in the raisins. Okay, so it is at the 2.30 mark and it just beeped. So I'm going to add the raisins. It smells amazing. And here is our dough. Now, if you're wondering if you should scrape the sides of the pan, do not. Because the heat from this, from the element underneath this pan is going to make this bread rise. So it will eventually clean the sides off itself. Pretty fun stuff, huh? We have 2 hours and 29 minutes for homemade bread. It has beat, so the bread is ready. So it's still hot, but I want to show you how to take it out of the pan. Because there's a paddle in the bottom of this pan, which is what makes the machine turn. And you can see that it's not in there now. It never is. So you know where it is? right here in the bottom of your loaf. You just make a small cut and you take it out. So here it is. A beautiful hot loaf of bread. I've taken the paddle out of the bottom. And look at the top. It's absolutely perfect full of raisins, to the point where I actually want to ask my neighbors if they would like to come over and break bread. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe so you are updated with any new future videos. And give it a try. There's nothing like homemade bread. If you have any requests for any kinds of bread, Please leave it in the comments below and God bless you. Mm -hmm.